and we are going for our noon walk well a noon walk it's i think 10 15 oh Okay, two hours and a yawn. That's a good reaction. Yeah, we will have to clip that out for our shorts uh, shorts video channel. And I was trying to say it's only quarter. Oh yeah, well, it's to 10.30 so 10.25 and we are already on our noon walk uh, yeah in the morning as you could see in the previous videos we were in the city for our morning walk we have done walk home walk to home from the city center and yeah it took us exactly one hour because uh, we have met several dogs after I So in three minutes of filming we have already two ambulances going past us. Yeah today it has been quite quite an eventful day. A lot of a lot of ambulances going up and down the road. We already heard the first one ex at exactly 6 a.m when they can turn on their you know sirens oh yeah so i don't know what is going on today right yeah we are going for our walk about you know half an hour to 45 minutes earlier than usual why because at i would like to be at home at 11 11 ish um, to contact an employee at one of the other faculties from our universities, university um, regarding some bureaucracy and you know so this um, we call them Samostoini uh, Strokoni Delevets which would be directly translated at independent um expert workers basically worker basically it's uh, you know a really basically just an office worker with you know some specialization regarding some business you know usually they are of course um with university degrees but because it's university, you know, there are a lot of with master's degrees and of course doctorates and you know, they are they are in charge for some particular um, subject matter at the faculty or at the university. 
but one of the problems that I have with this um, system is that a lot of these these people you know they have official work hours only you know like for two hours per day so in this case this particular person has official uh, office hours from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. so two hours every day and of course when you are in charge for uh, where you are covering you know a, uh, let's say this subject matter in one of the larger faculties and then you know people from other faculties like me are contact or or trying to contact you you know yeah it's let's say uh It can get, you know, a boring because you are just dialing and you're not getting through. Or, you know, well, basically a lot of waiting. That was I was trying to say. If you are not lucky, get it, you know, immediately. But yeah, this is also one of the problems that I have seen at the, our university is you know um, high degree of bureaucracy Pridna and the people that are in charge of this bureaucracy or you know um, in charge of um, guiding the process let's say are not accessible as they should be in my opinion so you know um, like you know they are working for eight hours per day but they are only available to other people for two hours per day you know and of course it happens very often, you know, you call them during their official work hours and they are not there, you know, you know, they are on their lunch, they are on the meet in some sort of meeting or, you know, or something like that. And of course, this is also even more problematic when you have, you know, only one person covering this, you know. And if that person is sick on a meeting on some, you know, obligatory, mandatory education course, you are in a pickle. Yeah, um, so, of course, now that we have a little bit more of the, let's say, informational support you know you can get a lot of things done through the using your pc you know but still you know there are so many unnecessary bureaucratic steps to take like um you know uh, uh, um, i employed at the university of ljubljana All my degrees are from University of Ljubljana. But every time that I have, uh, I have to apply to some, you know, some, uh, some thing, you know, every time I have to submit the, my, uh, my copies for my degrees, you know, certificates or diplomas that I have finished my degrees even though you know they have everything there you know and then you know just instead of you know the solution would be that university would have you know like a centralized system where all the degrees all the certificates everything would be you know compiled and especially when you are you know um 
applying for different jobs or let's say habilitation process or in process of your habilitation you know that you can use this um, platform for you know for um, instantly accessing your data not uh, but you know no we are still having care yeah, we are so you know advanced yeah we, you can all you can submit that through you know email but yeah at the same time you have to still scan you know everything and of course when they in the office they get that your application they have to you know print everything out several times you know to um, for the process and this is basically you know a nightmare they are always saying you know watch out how much do you you know copy how much uh, paper are you spending unnecessarily but with all this you know bureaucratic processes that are taking place you know in the which which are not extraordinary just you know like currently you know for my habilitation process so you know when you want to advance in the academic ranks you have to every couple of years you have to submit the application and of course which means every time you have to submit a lot of unnecessary data which could be you know quickly solved if they would just create it you know a platform because we are quite a major employer you know quite a lot of people are working at the university you know several thousand so that shouldn't be you know that should be you know incentive to make such a platform because a lot of people would use it but yeah it's a problem and that's why we have to go on early walk so that i will try to use those two hours to get to that person hopefully today she will be in the office okay that's it